What's up, everyone? Giant Opinions here. Some breaking, breaking MLB news. The Texas Rangers have just went ahead and traded for starting pitcher, former Cy Young winner, Corey Kluber. In exchange, they gave up outfielder Delino to Shields and the Texas Rangers 30th ranked prospect, Chase Emmanuel. Now, if I'm going to be honest, the Rangers fleeced. They literally fleeced the Indians so badly. I don't know why the Indians front office made this trade. Like, I know you want to unload his salary and all that, and he is getting older, so you do want something from him, because you, they're kind of tearing it down with the talks about Lindor, but anyways, I mean, Delano DeShields, he's like 33, he's an outfielder, he batted like 150 this year, I mean, that's questionable enough, uh, I guess the main piece that they wanted in this trade was Chase Emanuel, and he is the 30th ring prospect in their farm system, so it's kind of like, I, I, I mean, he's okay, I looked at his numbers, he has like a 3.5 ERA and uh, the single A and stuff, but I guess what really, uh, made them want him is that he throws a an 101 mile per hour cutter so that is kind of impressive he does throw some heat and uh, if or if they can develop him and maybe uh make his pitches better that cutter will be really effective he could be a chapman for all we know i mean we don't really know but anyways if you're the rangers you'd be pumped i mean you just got a former cy young candidate and yeah he did have somewhat of a down year but he only played seven or he only started seven games last year uh so i mean it's not really it doesn't really tell the full story of who he is just look at the past. He's been phenomenal for the Indians. He's been pretty underrated, too, his entire career. So you got to love the move. If you're Rangers, you're rebuilding. You missed out on Rendon. But, hey, you did get a Cy Young winner in Corey Kluber, who is pretty consistent, and he's pretty good. So uh, he is a building block for the future, I'm guessing. Uh, they'll probably just retain him and build around him because they did miss on Rendon, so that was big. And they're out on Donaldson, from what I know. So I guess this is kind of the, the move that made up for the uh, somewhat disappointing offseason for the Rangers, let's just face it. They really haven't had a good offseason, so. Big win for the Rangers. For the Indians, I do not like the trade. I thought it was terrible. You definitely could have gotten some more value somewhere else, especially from the Dodgers. They have a loaded farm system, but anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, and yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.